Hi, this is Todd Horton, and welcome to this video on plotting station and offset survey data. In this exercise, we are going to plot the six corners of a building that are listed in sequence here on page two of this handout. On this page two, you have a baseline already established, and so I'd like you to do is follow along with me here on your page two and label the marks that you see there along the baseline with these stations. So we've started with station 10 plus 0, 0, then 11 plus 0, 0, 12 plus 0, 0, and 13 plus 0, 0. When you are standing in the on the baseline and looking in the direction of increasing station, the right side is on your right and the left side of the baseline is on your left. We're working with a scale of one inch equals 50 feet. So what you'll see here is when you apply a 50 foot scale, each one of these squares has a dimension of 10 feet by 10 feet. So that means there are five squares per inch. Each square is 10 feet by 10 feet. That should make it easy to help you estimate the positions that we will plot. Now, because we're plotting this manually, it's not, go not going to work out perfectly. In fact, we have been given stations and offsets for which we cannot show the precision, the numeric precision at this scale. So there's going to be some approximation. Our very first point one is at station 10 plus 0, 0, and with an offset of 70.39 feet right. Here you can see the format with which we label that. Station 10 plus 0, 0 and 70.39 feet right. That's our first point. So let's go up and plot our second point. I'm using my scale to make sure I don't blunder with counting squares and I need an offset of 67.04 feet left. Notice it's on the other side of the baseline now. And you can see I've estimated it's roughly 12 plus 0 0.09 feet. But I'm showing the station expressed to the hundredth as we've had provided to us. So we just plot a dot at each of those locations. I'd like you to follow along and do this along with me on your sheet because it will be useful for you to have the practice and to get a feel for how the numbers work out. So our third point is now going to be to the right of the baseline. So what I've done is I've established my station along the baseline and now I have measured over with my scale and I've plotted that point for point three which has a station of 12 plus 75 point three eight which should show on there 12 plus 75 point three eight with an offset of 33 point three nine feet right well, I think you can see that point one to point two to point three forms uh, roughly a 90 degree angle. We expect that. We like to build our buildings square. So let's see what the shape of this building is going to be. Given the fact that it has six corners, you know it's not just a simple rectangle. So uh, we can kind of guess that this is probably going to be an L shape. And once I plot point four here, yeah, that starts to make sense. Line three to four is parallel to line one to two, but it's shorter, isn't it? So therefore, it appears that this is forming one leg of the L shaped building. So point four has this station of 11 plus 64.47 feet with uh, an offset right of 106.15 feet. Now when I plot point five, I'm very nearly station 12 plus 0, 0. It's more precisely 11, point nine, or 11 plus 96.81 feet. And then my offset is 155.44 feet to the right. 
So given the way this is shaping up, we can pretty much expect that going from 0.3 to 0.4 to 0.5 forms the inside of the L of this L-shaped building. So 0.6 you can pretty much guess is going to be down here to the lower right corner of the drawing. Once again I'm using the scale to make sure that I don't blunder and miscount squares which is easy to do and I'm plotting this best I can and then you can see we'll label that with the station here at point six. The station is 10 plus 98.22 and our offset is 220.11 feet right. Well our next step here in just a little bit will be to uh, to draw our lines but before we get too far let's go ahead and label these point numbers because the point numbers will short shorten our description of our lines as we go and clarify our drawing. Using any straight edge now you simply need to draw the lines from dot to dot and you'll then see that yes these do make nice 90 degree angles and the building appears to be square. This line 3 to 4 appears to be parallel to line 1, 2. And line 4, 5 and line 1, 6 appear to be parallel to line 2, 3. Well, we, we will need to prove that to ourselves here in just a moment. So uh, it's going to take a, take a little bit of time to get there. Before we can prove that to ourselves, let's look back at the problem statement. Item 1B says compute the area of the building. So before we can compute the area, we need to know the lengths of the sides. All we know right now are effectively station and offset or coordinates at the corners. So we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to find each side length. Notice every side is the hypotenuse of a right triangle that you see there drawn with dashed lines. So we'll come up with the dimensions of this by first taking the difference in the stations as you see here. Then we'll take this difference in the offset. So we're trying to find the dimensions of the right triangle that you see sketched here. So I'm going to take the difference in my offsets and I'm going to have 220.11 feet minus 155.44 feet and that gives me the left right dimension or you should say the top side of this right triangle. So my right triangles Perpendicular sides are 98.59 feet by 64.67 feet. So the hypotenuse of that triangle, or we can call it the distance from 5 to 6, is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of these two sides. The result of our computation then is 117.91 feet. That is the length of the line 5 to 6. Now what I need you to do is compute all the other five sides. But before you get started, let me show you a simple, I'm not going to say it's a trick, but it's something you need to catch on to because this particular side I'm drawing here crosses the baseline. You'll see that the distance in the direction of stationing that is parallel to the baseline is 65.89 feet. But the distance left and right is really the sum of two distances, isn't it? You see point 0.3 lies 33.39 feet right of the baseline. 
point two lies sixty seven point zero four feet left of the baseline. So in this case I have to sum those two offsets and from between those two points that distance left and right is 100.43 feet. Once I plug that into my Pythagorean theorem I get a distance of 120.11 feet. So I would suggest you pause the video here and calculate the remainder of these, I'll show the results, but I'd like you to see if you can come up with the same results as me. Now, it's possible that we've had a blunder in our math or a blunder in plotting. So we're going to check both here. So I have three parallel sides that I've just marked with a check mark. Side 2, 3 summed with side 4, 5 should come up to the same length as side 1, 6. So let's do that. Just summing them up. And in this case, it does turn out to match. So I can say that the other three sides are likely parallel and I don't have a blunder in that direction. So now let's consider the other three parallel sides and see how those add up. So side uh, 3, 4 is 132.65 feet long, side 5, 6 is 117.91 feet long, and the sum of these works out to be 250.56. When I compare that to the 250.55 that I had calculated earlier, that's a very close match, and the difference is just the result of rounding. So now that I have the dimensions, I am ready to calculate the area of this building and I like to do it by dividing it into things I already know how to calculate. So area A is uh, is above the dashed line and area B is below the dashed line. So area A has dimensions 120.11 feet by 132.65 feet and thus the product of those is the area of area A 15932.6 square feet. Now I simply find the area for area B. It's the dimensions 117.91 by 179.06 and the product of those is 21,113.0 square feet. Well, now all I need to do is sum those two parts and I get the area of this building footprint is 37045.6 square feet. And we were able to get all of this information using station and offset.